Welcome to this part of solved problems. In this part, we will calculate the average power and RMS value of signal XT. Expression of signal XT is not given in the problem, but the waveform is. And by using this waveform, we will find out average power P and RMS value. RMS value is equal to square root of average power P. And if you see the waveform, you will find signal XT is a periodic signal. Signal XT is a periodic signal and we already know periodic signals are power signals periodic signals are power signals and the average power p is finite in case of power signals and the total energy e is infinity let's say the fundamental time period the fundamental time period is capital t Usually we represent the fundamental time period by T naught, but in this case I will represent it by capital T. If this time period is capital T, this time period will be T by 2, the half time period. We can easily obtain the average power. We can easily obtain the average power by integrating mod xt square, integrating mod xt square from 0 to t from 0 to t and after this we will divide the result of integration by t so this is how we can obtain the average power p but as this lecture is based on orthogonal signals i will include orthogonal signals in the calculation i will break this waveform into two different waveforms and let's say the first waveform is waveform of signal x1t and the second waveform is waveform of signal x2t and when you add signal x1t and signal x2t you will have the original waveform so x1t plus x2t is equal to xt the next thing is to find out whether x1t and x2t are orthogonal or not and for this we have the condition of orthogonality integration from 0 to t x1t x2t dt equal to 0 this is the condition of orthogonality and if this condition is satisfied by signal x1t and x2t we can say that they are orthogonal signals let's try to find out whether x1t and x2t satisfy this condition or not from 0 to t by 2 you can see x2t is equal to 0 and x1t is equal to 6 so if you multiply x1t and x2t in this half time period you will have 0 from t by 2 from t by 2 to t x2t is not equal to 0 but x1t is equal to 0 so again the product is equal to 0 so x1t multiplied with x2t from 0 to t is equal to 0 and if you integrate 0 you will have 0 so signal x1t and x2t are orthogonal signals and we already know in case of orthogonal signals the average power of composite signal let's say it is px is equal to sum of average powers of orthogonal signals so px is equal to px1 plus px2 and now we will calculate px1 and px2 individually let's move to the calculation of px1 the calculation of px1 is very simple px1 it is equal to 1 by t integration from 0 to t mod x1 t square dt and you can see from 0 to t by 2 x1 t is equal to 6 and from t by 2 t x1 t is equal to 0 so we can break this definite integral into two parts from 0 to t by 2 we have 6 square dt plus from t by 2 to 0 we have 0 when you solve this integration you will have 18 watts as the value of px1 so we have px1 as 18 watts now we will calculate px2 calculation of px2 is little bit complicated as compared to px1 let's see how we can calculate the average power of signal x2 
it is equal to 1 by t integration 0 to t we are integrating in one period and whenever you have periodic signals you have to integrate mod xt square in one period to obtain the average power mod x 2 t square dt again we will break the integration into two parts from 0 to t by 2 x 2 t is equal to 0 so integration of 0 plus from t by 2 to t from t by 2 to t we have this straight line we have the straight line and to find out the straight line we will use the equation of a straight line y minus y1 equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 multiplied with x minus x1 y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 is m m is the slope of straight line and you can clearly see you can clearly see y1 is equal to 0 and x1 is equal to t by 2 so the first point is having the coordinates t by 2 0 and the second point this is the second point having the coordinates t minus 6 and as we are integrating mod x2 t square we need to find out mod x2 t and the mod x2 t will have the waveform like this so the second point is now having the coordinates t and plus 6 this is after taking the mod of signal x2 t so we have the coordinates of second point t and plus 6 and by putting these coordinates in this equation we can easily find out equation of a straight line it will be y equal to 12 by t x minus 6 in this case y is equal to mod x2 t and x is equal to t so we have mod x2 t equal to 12 by t t minus 6 and we need mod x2 t square mod x2 t square so we have 12 by t t minus 6 square we will put it here 12 by t t minus 6 square dt and once you perform the integration and put the upper and lower limits you will have px2 px2 equal to 6 watts so the total average power is equal to 18 watts plus 6 watts which is equal to 24 watts so this is the answer now we will calculate the rms value the rms value it is equal to under root 24 when you simplify this you will have 2 root 6 this is the answer